Kesher with Quantum Innovations here and today I'm going to talk to you about water contact angle and why it's important and why it's not important. So um, just to recap what water contact angle is uh, and then how the test is done, I'll just go through it real, really quickly. So the water contact angle is the angle when we put on a, on a lens or a curved surface, a substrate, when we put a droplet of water, we're going to measure the angle from the droplet we're going to measure that angle right there and then we want to see how well the water beads up on the surface of the lens now uh, when you put hydrophobic on the lens now what you see is you see more definition of the circle of the droplet of water than you would otherwise and that's why it's good for us as a measurement of hydrophobicity so this is very good for us to measure whether there's a hydrophobic there or not and how hydrophobic it is but this is not a great test when you talk about the the newer hydrophobics or or they're really uh, oleophobics or anti-fouling compounds that we're using in today's day and age because they have so many different properties so in order to measure them accurately we need things like friction coefficient ease of cleaning does a really good job the uh, the calibrated tape pool there's all these different things because these materials have all these different properties but as far as water contact angle this is it this is simple it measures one aspect of these newer uh, generation coatings that that we're putting on the lens and these are really better termed anti-fouling compounds because they cover so many aspects but here real quickly water contact angle if you have any questions you can read that we have a blog post on this as well uh, talking about uh, i think it's called slippery when wet so any questions, contact us uh, or go on our website, qtmi.net. Thanks.